always trust your pronunciation and not the spelling. Hello, hello, and hello. My name is Tino Trevor. Welcome to the English Experience, the place to learn clear, simple, and practical English you can use in the real world. Today, we're talking about the English indefinite articles A and N and when to use them. Let's get started. A general rule is to use A when it appears before a singular noun which begins with a consonant sound, and to use AN when it appears before a singular noun which begins with a vowel sound. Here are some examples. A knife, a fork, a spoon, an apple, an ice cube, an idea. Indefinite articles are used when we refer to something in general, in cases where we don't know or don't care about what we're talking about. For example, I was watching a movie last night and fell asleep on the sofa. In this example, the movie's not important. I don't mention its name and my audience doesn't know anything about it. There are, however, exceptions to the general rule. But before I give you examples of these, it is important to note that vowel and consonant letters are not the same as vowel and consonant sounds. Not all nouns that begin with a consonant letter begin with a consonant sound. And not all nouns that begin with a vowel letter begin with a vowel sound. Always trust your pronunciation and not the spelling. Here are some examples in which an appears before nouns which begin with consonant letters. An honor. An hour. Did you hear the pronunciation? Honor. Hour. In some words, the letter H is unvoiced, so we use the article an. But in some words, it is voiced, so we use the article a. Let me give you some examples. A hat. A hospital. Did you hear the difference? Hat, hospital. Now here are some examples in which A appears before nouns which begin with vowel letters. A university, a unit. Did you hear the pronunciation? University, unit. In some words, the letter U is voiced, so we use the article A. But in other words, it is unvoiced, so we use the article AN. For example, an uncle, an umbrella. Did you hear the pronunciation? Uncle, umbrella. These rules regarding pronunciation apply to acronyms as well. For example, we received a save our ship message on the radio should be written and spoken as we received an SOS message on the radio. A save our ship message an SOS message. This is because the consonant letter S is pronounced beginning with a vowel sound E. S. E. S. Another thing to note is that indefinite articles are not used with plural nouns or uncount nouns. For example, I'm wearing white shoes. Shoes come in pairs, so shoes is a plural noun. We ate a lot of food last night. Food is not easily countable, so food is an uncount noun. To learn more about plural nouns and uncount nouns, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming content. I'm Tino Trevor. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers. Peace out. If there's something you'd like to learn, get in touch in the comments or on Instagram. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any new content. Cheers.